CDDAB started in 2022 as a research assistant and my journey to ICDDRB from since my birth was not really easy. Ever since I was born, I had been born with a with a congenital disease. I mean, a disease that me I have been living through and I had a lot of challenges both physically and also mentally. When I got out of my home, the real challenge actually started. After completing my HSC, I started my graduation journey where everyone was like suggesting me to take a easier subject. I didn't actually hear them. I went for my passion and um, I chose biotechnology as my subject. And uh, at that time also everyone was very much like concerned or what I don't know. You are a woman, you have many other problems in life apart from physical, uh, uh, apart from being physically challenged, you have other problems too. But I uh, overcame it. I started working on myself, on my mental health. I ICDDAB for the career development for the disabled people. There I applied and uh, I got the opportunity as a research assistant in ICDDRB. That time also I had a like you know doubt that are they going to take me? Hello in ICDDRB Bangladesh. Here I'm going to present to you a very unique feature of salmonella therapy which we detected in a pediatric patient from our hospital and here we found out that usually lactose, uh, uh, salmonella therapy is a non-lactose fermenter but here we found out that it came out to be lactose fermenting after 48 hours searching on Metcon Kiagar so basically it was a late lactose fermenting so seeing this unique feature we got curious and we did the genome sequencing and it was rather the genome sequencing was more surprising because there we could not get any traditional lactose fermenting genes like lactoprone genes so rather we found after doing the whole genome sequence uh, we did a pair of phylogenetic we found that there were three putative genes which were unique to us uh, 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 from the other genotypes of 3.2.2